Hey, what's up, I'm AsicSam, and today I'm going to be doing more of a rant, not really a review. Uh, I mainly wanted to talk about G-Wolf's quality. Uh, literally no other big reviewer will ever talk about this, so I took it upon myself to do that. Most of the reviewers out there are just cocksucking clout chasers who don't really want to bring this issue to light, and it's really disappointing as a member of the mouse community to see these fucks not doing shit about an issue that is pretty blatant. I think anybody who's owned a G-Wolves mouse, or more than 5 G-Wolves mice, will attest to the quality just going so fucking downhill so fucking fast. And it's honestly kind of hilarious. I've owned 5 G-Wolves mice, and every single one that I've owned, it's just turned to shit within 2 months. Like how the fuck is this gonna happen to every single mouse, consistently, without fail? It's honestly pretty impressive that they're able to do this, and now that they're an independent company, there's literally no reason or no excuse that this should be happening. I'll talk about why I'm probably going to be the only reviewer who's going to talk about this issue later, but right now I'm just going to show you the evidence that I have right here. The Hottie S and the Sakura Hottie that I got from Etoc Tech. Both of these mice had pretty minimal quality issues when I first pulled them out of the box, but over time they developed issues. Now this has consistently happened with my Skull V1. Hottie V2, my Hottie S, my HSK, and my Hottie M Sakura. Now how the fuck does this happen? I don't know. I don't know why it's happening and I don't know how it can happen. Consistently, I've said this many times, it is consistent. Now the big thing that happened with my Hottie S is just insane amounts of creaking and slight post and pre travel that developed. Now for granted I did do a couple mods to this mouse that didn't really affect it that much and after the mods the quality was still the same as when I pulled it out of the box. Now the main problem with my Hottie M is the switch is just going to shit within two weeks. I honestly didn't have that many hours on this mouse, and I'm also giving it away. So it's pretty fucking saddening to have a mouse that I'm giving away turn to shit so fucking fast. Now I'll just play the clip for you real quick of the quality. So yeah, that quality is just horrible. It's completely unacceptable for $90 mice. Keep in mind, both of these mice are $90. With the Hottie M, there's just an insane amount of post and pre-travel and rattling with mouse 1 and 2. On the Hottie S, there is cracking and post and pre-travel, and there is a ton of creaking. Uh, some people might say that it's from the mod that I made to my mouse, but if you talk to other reviewers or listen to other reviewers, or just people in the community in general who own the mouse, they will 
probably tell you the same exact thing that I'm telling you. The quality goes downhill extremely fast. Now, obviously there are reviewers who have said the quality of Jubal's mice isn't good in the past. It's not an unheard of thing, but they never really talk about the quality of life and the lifespan of these mice. They are not good. They are not good whatsoever. And now that they're a dependent company from HK Gaming, or they're not a sibling company to HK Gaming, there is literally no reason that this should be happening. They have full control of how their products are made and how they are produced. And it really bothers me that reviewers keep on recommending these mice when they know that they're bad. They keep on saying, oh yeah, buy these mice because they don't want to cut ties with the brand, or they just want to get on the side of the kids who just like this mouse and they want to agree with them. Either way, whatever reason motivates them to say that the mice are good, it's just gross. And the inner circle of the mouse community is gross. It's full of people who just want to fucking clout chase and just want the easy views and make money off YouTube. It's kind of annoying, and I don't consider myself a reviewer. I more consider myself just a member of the community who is vocal about issues in mice and wants to talk about mice. I only started this channel because I had literally nobody to talk about mice with, and uh, yeah, I just fucking started posting YouTube videos. It's not that deep. Now, I'm well aware that this video is going to cut ties with me and a lot of companies. I don't really care because I don't want to be sent early samples of mice that aren't a real reflection of the products that you guys are going to be buying. It seems a little bit redundant to review something that's not going to be in the hands of the consumers when I'm making videos for the consumers. It confuses me why a lot of reviewers are still reviewing sample copies and not just picking up the mouse for themselves and reviewing it. Yeah, I get it. It's expensive to do that. And it's more honest, and I don't know how the fuck they sleep at night while recommending all these shitty mice to little fucking Fortnite kids it's disgusting honestly and uh yeah i don't really want to take part in that if companies still send me mice thanks sure i guess i'll review it but i'm always going to put a huge disclaimer that the uh, product that i'm reviewing isn't an accurate representation of the product that most consumers are going to be buying so yeah, literally every g wolves mouse that i've had has had issues and i've never had a good product on the other hand i've bought one rate two razor products and both of them had had very minimal issues and the quality stayed consistent throughout its lifetime. For granted, Razer is a bigger company. Uh, take something like Endgame Gear. They're able to pump out a mouse that's $20 less than these G-Wolves mice and produce a mouse that lasts almost, I think it's been like a year now, with no quality issues whatsoever. It's impressive that they can do that and it's incredibly disappointing that G-Wolves cannot do that. It's a group of like five people at Endgame Gear that I really respect and teams like Rocat as well and Extrify are just pumping out amazing mice while G-Wolves is over here pumping out shitty mice that don't last very long. Uh, so yeah, I mainly just wanted to talk about G-Wolves quality. It's frustrating for me to see it and uh, yeah, I don't, I don't like it. Uh, yeah, that's the end later.